I was lucky. I found what I love to do early in life. Waz and I started Apple in my parents' garage when I was 20. We worked hard, and in 10 years, Apple had grown from just the two of us in a garage into a $2 billion company with over 4,000 employees. We just released our finest creation, the Macintosh, a year earlier, and I just turned 30. And then I got fired. I dropped out of Reed College after the first six months, but then stayed around as a drop-in for another 18 months or so before I really quit. So why'd I drop out? It started before I was born. My biological mother was a young, unwed graduate student, and she decided to put me up for adoption. She felt very strongly that I should be adopted by college graduates, so everything was all set for me to be adopted at birth by a lawyer and his wife. Except that when I popped out, they decided at the last minute that they really wanted a girl. So my parents, who were on a waiting list, got a call in the middle of the night asking, we've got an unexpected baby boy, do you want him? They said, of course. My biological mother found out later that my mother had never graduated from college and that my father had never graduated from high school. She refused to sign the final adoption papers. She only relented a few months later when my parents promised that I would go to college. The late Steve Jobs was one of the most influential people of modern times. He also believed that anyone, including you, has the ability to change the world. Your circumstances at birth are entirely out of your control. Some are born more fortunate than others, but through opportunity and encouragement, what you can achieve is entirely up to you. Many people are so focused on fitting into their own little spot in life and living within the notions and rules of what life should be, they miss out on the most important fact. You can affect the world around you. And if you aren't happy living within the confines of what has been created, then be the change that you want to see. Challenge the norm and live outside of the box. If today was your last day on earth, would you be happy doing what it is you are spending your time doing? If the answer is no, then enact the change you need to make. Time is limited, and when you cast aside your regrets and embarrassments of daily life, then you can truly begin to live. At times, you need to follow your heart and figure out what it is that you love. Pursuing your passion is hard work, and if you don't love it, you will fail. This is what happens to most people who give up on their own journeys. Discover what drives you. And if you need to make changes in yourself to make a change in the world, do it. Your life is just to live your life inside the world. Try not to bash into the walls too much. Try to have a nice family life, uh, have fun, save a little money. But life, that's a very limited life. Life can be much broader once you discover one simple fact, and that is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. And you can change it, you can influence it, you can, you can build your own things that other people can use. And the minute that you understand that you can poke life and actually something will, you know, if you push in, something will pop out the other side, that you can, you can change it, you can mold it. That's maybe the most important thing, is to shake off this uh, erroneous notion that life is there and you're just going to live in it, versus embrace it, change it, improve it, make your mark upon it. I, I think that's very important. And however you learn that, once you learn it, you'll want to change life and make it better, because it's kind of messed up in a lot of ways. Once you learn that, you'll never be the same again. When I was 17, I read a quote that went something like, if you live each day as if it was your last, someday you'll most certainly be right. It made an impression on me, and since then, for the past 33 years, I've looked in the mirror every morning and asked myself, if today were the last day of my life, would I want to do what I am about to do today? And whenever the answer has been no for too many days in a row, I know I need to change something. Remembering that I'll be dead soon is the most important tool I've ever encountered to help me make the big choices in life. Because almost everything, all external expectations, all pride, all fear of embarrassment or failure, these things just fall away in the face of death, leaving only what is truly important. Remembering that you are going to die is the best way I know to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose. You are already naked. There is no reason not to follow your heart.
People say you have to have a lot of passion for what you're doing, and it's totally true, and the reason is because it's so hard that if you don't, any rational person would give up. It's really hard, and you have to do it over a sustained period of time. So if you don't love it, if you're not having fun doing it, you don't really love it, you're gonna give up. And that's what happens to most people, actually. If you really look at, at the ones that ended up you know, being successful, unquote, in the eyes of society, and the ones that didn't, oftentimes it, it's the ones that are successful loved what they did so they could persevere when, you know, when it got really tough. And, and the ones that, that didn't love it quit, because they're sane, right? Who would want to put up with this stuff if you don't love it? So it's a lot of hard work, and, and it's a lot of worrying constantly. If you don't love it, you're gonna fail. So you gotta love it, you gotta have passion. This was the closest I've been to facing death, and I hope it's the closest I get for a few more decades. Having lived through it, I can now say this to you with a bit more certainty than when death was a useful but purely intellectual concept. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more content.